Hello everyone, this is Ravens from Digi Integrative. Welcome to Tech News episode 242. Airtel has increased the prices of its prepaid recharge plans by India up to 25%. The new recharge plan prices will be effective for customers from November 26th. Airtel recharge plans now start at rupees 99 and go all the way up to rupees 2999. Flipkart will now host an online pharmacy with the acquisition of sastasundar.com. Sastasundar.com is a known digital healthcare and a pharmacy platform in India. Eventually the company will attempt to offer e-diagnostic and e-consultation through its channels. Infinix Inbook X1 is expected to launch in India in December and will be available via Flipkart. It weighs less than 1.5 kg and can be opened at a 180 degree angle with the possibility of horizontal tilting. The laptop comes with a 14 inch full HD IPS display with a brightness of 300 nits. MIUI 13 will be available on Android 11 and other devices. All devices that will receive the Android 12 update will also be able to use the MIUI 13. Xiaomi's 118 devices fit to this criteria. Test of 7 of them started 1 week ago and are still progress. Redmi India subbrand of Xiaomi on Monday announced that it has joined hands with the Reliance Jio to conduct 5G trials for its upcoming Redmi Note 11T 5G smartphone. To verify the capability and performance of their upcoming device, the two companies conducted a 5G standalone lab trial and tested the device through the various scenarios thereby ensuring enhanced 5G end user experiences. The Redmi K50 gaming model is expected to feature a MediaTek Dimensity 9000 chipset. It is also expected to sport a 120 Hz or 144 Hz OLED display. The standard K50 gaming model could come with an upcoming MediaTek Dimensity 7000 chipset. IQ launched its IQ8 series of smartphones a little while ago in China. The India launch of the IQ8 series however has reportedly been cancelled. While the exact reason is unknown, the cancellation could be due to the ongoing chip crunch. From IQ in the coming days we can expect an 100 watt IQ Neo smartphone. OnePlus has patented a foldable smartphone with three displays that are all linked together. The trifold foldable device could relate to the flex in and out which Samsung display exhibited earlier this year. Oppo Reno 7 series is scheduled to debut in China on November 25th. Reno 7 software edition is expected to be the budget offering in the entire lineup. Oppo Reno 7 specifications include a 6.43 inch display. It runs on Dimensity 900 processor, comes with 48 megapixel camera, and it runs on Android 11 OS. Oppo is indeed planning to launch electric vehicles in India. The company has already started the planning process and the electric vehicles are slated to debut by early 2024. No technical or hardware details about the Oppo electric vehicles have been revealed at this moment. Along with the Oppo Reno 7 series, we can also expect from Oppo that Oppo Enco Free 2i True Wireless earbuds will be launching. Realme is soon going to launch a new audio product. The model number is Realme RMA 1010 and it receives the IMDA certification. And again from Realme sub brand Dizo will soon going to launch a new smartwatch in India. It contains the model number DW2121. Ola IPO share listing date is expected on quarter 1 of 2022. Ola is set to launch a cheaper electric scooter ahead of IPO debut. Ola is also looking to get into the insurance and loan sector. India's vaccination portal Covin has now begun showing a partially vaccinated or fully vaccinated badge next to the name of an individual whenever they log in. This badge will appear on your Covin profile which is a page that shows up once you log in with your phone number and OTP. With all new flash calls users can choose the option to verify their phone number through an automated call in the place of a text message. WhatsApp has also added message level reporting with which a users can report accounts to the messaging platform. The two new options are additional to the already existing set of features like two step verification looking your WhatsApp with touch ID and face ID. In 2017, California headquartered Alphabet laid the foundation for its mission to build everyday robots, realizing how robots in today's age are heavily dependent on the program code written for a specific task. The company gave its arm X the Moon Factor the responsibility to develop robots that can assist human in their everyday tasks. Recently, Alphabet has announced that they have developed around 100 everyday robots in the company that can learn by themselves and adapt to the environment of the establishment. This breaks the paradigm where the robots were able to perform only one single task in one particular environment apparently the moon factor developed everyday robots can adapt to the unprecedented factors in their vicinity and act upon them accordingly 
Bonds Infinity Electric 2 will will be launched in India on December 2nd. The company will be start taking bookings on the same day for the token amount of rupees 499. This electric scooter will be up for purchase in two unique formats. Instagram standalone messaging service Thread will cease to exist by the end of 2021 and Meta has confirmed that this app will display a notice prompting users to return to Instagram starting from November 23rd. Oppo has launched a wide range of televisions in China over the last few years. Oppo recently unveiled the Smart TV K9 series in May this year in China. The series was further expanded with its 75-inch model in September. Thanks for watching this video. Please kindly support my channel by giving a like, share and subscribe and follow Digi Integrity on Twitter, Instagram and Facebook.